So here's the fight. Everyone's been talking about it. I haven't seen it. I've been away all weekend. Um, so I, I know what happens. I'm not going to lie. I do know how this fight goes, but I haven't seen the fight. So here I am. I've managed to avoid it over the weekend just to make sure I could come back and, and properly, uh, properly enjoy it and not just see little snippets of it on Instagram and social media. So I'm looking forward to this one. Fight between Liam Harrison and Muay Thai PK Sanchai. Let's get into it. Nice jab from Muay Thai. He's using that tip very nicely. Muay Thai is using that, using that tip really nicely. Harrison just trying to find his range with his jab. A little bit of awkwardness being the South Pole versus Orthodox stance. Nice, nice sweep from Harrison. Just PK Sancho is just walking him down. Muang Thai is really, really taking it to him. You don't usually see this. Harrison's usually the one that's uh, sort of has guys into. Oh! Let me rewind that. That must have just got him around his glove. Um... Oh. oh, he's a bit rattled too. Oh, oh, that's tough. I'm just gonna let this play. Yeah, this is risky. Wow. Last knockdown wins. How often how often do you say that coming in? If someone knocks whoever dog gets knocked down first loses. He's gonna do it. Oh man, wow. That is crazy. Oh, I wish I didn't know. I wish I didn't know this was what was gonna happen. Oh, still impressive, but holy shit. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna unmute this. Yep, it is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> now, there was another piece I saw on social media. I had seen his reaction and what happened after. That one, that did, that is, he completely wears that on the hand, but it gets him through it. No, I'm not gonna, no, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Look at that. Let's see if I can get the right frame. He act, it doesn't look like he makes contact with his shin at all. It's all through the glove, which just goes to show there's no there's no padding on those little MMA gloves, eh? Like almost none. Damn. <laughs> he looks. Mong Tai looks just as surprised as everyone else off that first knockdown. That's two apiece. Just two. Oh man! Just too keen there, eh? But gets up like, oh what? What? I'm fine. What? What? No, I didn't. No, what do you mean? Look at him. I mean, he he, he did recover quite well in his defence. 
by Singapore Sports Hub. And now, ladies and Those little gloves, hey. Now, I don't know. I, I don't know much. Like, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll put my hand up. I don't watch heaps and heaps of one championship. Um, I watch bits and pieces, you know. Um, but I don't watch heaps and heaps. Does Montai, does he usually just fight in gloves? I know he's a, you know, previously he's a Rajadamnan uh, or, you know, Lumpini or something. I know he's I know he's a very credible fighter. But is he not used to these gloves? Like, does it, is, this his, is this his first time fighting in MMA gloves? And then, oh, I shit, didn't even do his reaction. So, anyway... There was a part that I'd seen on social media that I think I figure is worth worth talking about, which really spoke to me Liam, about Liam Harrison and where his priorities lie. Because they are the announcer says, you know, you've just won a hundred thousand dollars extra, and he <laughs> does some uh, Ace Ventura dance, which is which is pretty funny. But then they say, and you've got a shot at the title, and that's when he goes, oh, and he gets really excited, and I thought, that is the sign of someone who is passionate about this sport, still at, what, age 30, 37 or 38 or whatever it was, 30, 36, so 36, what's still more important to him at 36 is, instead of a, instead of $100,000, he is more, yeah, he's excited about that, but he was more excited about getting the shot at the world title, at the one championship title. You know, to me, that speaks volumes about Liam Harrison and, you know, who he is as a fighter. And I, like, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not like his, I don't dislike or like anyone, you know, but I'm not like a Liam Harrison massive fan. I follow everything he does. I quite like him. I think he's a great fighter. But just seeing that, I was like, man, you just went up like, 10, 20 points in my uh, in my mind. Just the fact that you're more excited about about opportunity than money is like uh, I can respect that a lot. So I hope he wins it. I hope he wins the title. Thirty six. Do it for the old boys. I'm getting old too. So do it for the old boys, Liam. Go and get it done. So if you enjoyed that, guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about uh, about how the fight went down, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.